what a question. How did the Lord call me into doing what I'm doing now? Well, um, I remember that the first time I thought about uh, going to the mission field, and this is quite a few years ago, I did the obvious thing. I went to missionary organization and I tried to apply to join them. They rejected me because they said, oh, you can never uh, cope with having to live by faith and so on. And I gave up because I had had a nervous breakdown at some point in my life. So I knew that um, I'm not a strong person necessarily. So uh, that was that. That's what I thought anyway. I don't know when the Lord has said something to you that you've put on the back burner as well. Uh, well, the Lord reminded me of that again at some point. Um, and there was just a knowing in my heart that I had to go to Bolivia, that that's where I was supposed to be. So I obeyed. I just uh, made plans with the blessing of my church. Um, and a few people that stood around me, I made plans to go to Bolivia. I had not the foggiest idea what I was supposed to be doing there. But that's also something that the Lord seems to be doing a lot, isn't it? He doesn't give us step two before we've done step one. So uh, I went to Bolivia and then things just developed. Um, one day I walked into a Christian um, conference and that's a good place to learn some uh, Spanish in uh, Christian uh, lingo. And there I walked into a rehab program for adult men and that clicked in my heart. You know, it's it's not just about the brain, but it's about the brain and the heart joining together and peace in the spirit when things happen like that. And I said, oh, can I come and visit? You know, I'm not a rich American, so don't think that I'm coming carrying bags of money, but I'd love to come. And they invited me to come give my testimony, which I did. And very soon I was working full time for this organization in rehab for adult men. And there I saw that it was nothing for teenagers. Sometimes the Lord will show us a need and sort of tap us on the shoulder and say, hey, did you see that? And then we can choose. We can either walk away or we can say, Yes, Lord, I saw that. What are you seeing? What do you want to do? And that's how a desire was born in my heart to um, found Mission Adullam, to have proper legal status, to work with minors of age, teenagers initially, and again, we're down to teenagers now. And um, so from there, things started to develop. One day I walked into um, a group of teenagers hanging out uh, in a square in El Alto because they were drinking and doing drugs and all sorts. And I sat and talked to them. And um, I remember the day they said to me, Finica, when will you come back? Because what they were looking for was fellowship with somebody that saw them as a human being. And through the years, I've seen that the Lord sees everybody that's down and out, everybody that's broken, everybody that's made a huge mess of their lives. The Lord sees us all as human beings that he is reaching out to. When I see all the houses of the mission, when I see how faithfully the Lord supports the ministry in prayer and through finances as well, through people, um, normal people, the Lord uses like yourselves to be involved with the ministry. And I'm only amazed and think, Lord, how could it ever be? Well, I would have never seen step. I don't know how many now after so many years, if I hadn't taken step one first. Now, on what basis? Can you and I take step one? Well, um, I remember one time the Lord gave me a scripture, and this isn't the only one he ever gave me, but this one was really significant, and it still is. And that's Romans chapter 15, verse 13. Romans 15, 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. It's not myself, it's not coming out of me, it's coming out of the fountain that the Lord's placed within me that I can abound in hope. So doing that, I can enter into prisons and see human beings in need of a savior because but for the grace of God, I could have been there. I see people that are trapped in addictions like the young people in the mission or now the children that come to Hesset with learning difficulties 
and I see kids and teenagers that just need an opportunity for somebody to reach out to them and um, start working with them. What do you need? How can I help you? How, how can I come alongside you? And I can tell you that's such a beautiful journey. It's a journey, like I said, I don't do it on my own. There are many people like yourselves that walk this journey with me alongside of the team of Mission Adullam, obviously, because in the mission running the three pro projects that we have, uh, it isn't just me, but it was never about me anyway. It's the Lord, the God of hope who fills us and may he fill you with that hope and with that vision for wherever he's placed you because that's his desire.